Uh, yeah. Uh, my understanding is that you had contacted uh, one of our uh, technicians about filing a complaint. Well, I don't... What is your name again, please? My name is Sergeant Mark Pollard. Mike Pollard. Um, Mark. Okay, Mark. Um, here's my issue with... Uh, what's going on there at your sheriff's department and the government. Um, I don't trust you. And I believe I have very good reason. Um, well, let me tell you what I am not in agreement with. When I was in your booking, um, I was arrested uh, August 5th. And when I went in there, you know, I've been learning a lot of things, Mark, especially about the legal name that was created at our birth on the birth certificate. And it is this legal name by which we are giving up our God-given rights. <clears throat> and I have been understanding that. When I was in jail, uh, the deputy told me to uh, don't give the lady a hard time at the desk. You know, she's an older lady with glasses. I don't know her name, <clears throat> but I would really like to file a complaint with her and with the sergeant. Because when she asked me for my name, I asked her if she was asking for my legal name. Or, no, I'm not even going to claim the legal name. But... She was asking for my name and I asked her, did she want the legal, the legal name? Because to my understanding, that is the only name that you can recognize is a legal name. And according to my understanding, that legal name is voluntary. Because there is no law that said that our parents had to fill out the birth certificate. The revised statute says, um, a certificate of birth for every live birth which occurs in this state must be filed with the state registrar. It does not say you have to fill it out. And there is no law that says you have to use it. When you get 18 or when you want privileges, which only a unit... Anyway, the, the, my point is, is that I was asking the, the lady a legitimate question. And... It is her lack of understanding of how this system works that when I asked her that question, are you asking for a legal name, she uh, called over to the deputy to, to harass me again, thinking that I'm some kind of a troublemaker. Sir, I'm not a troublemaker. In fact, my laws, I believe, are of a higher moral than your government's laws. And the reason I say that is because according to common law, an injury is when, uh, a crime is when somebody is injured. You guys and your government have made uh, victimless crimes, which is not the laws of the land or common law, only through contract. And I would like for you, I would like for the sheriff to educate his employees on the truth of what is going on in today's world. The fact that people are waking up, they're understanding that they are giving up their rights and property through the legal name that was created at their birth. I rescinded mine. Are you, do you know who I am, Mark? My understanding is that you're the name you provided is Dwayne Brock. That is, that is a name, okay? That is my name, but there was also a legal name that is the same as my name on the birth certificate, and that is um, the legal name. Now, I handed in a declaration, and I rescinded that name. And Mark, you and your government's going to have to forgive me if I am in some kind of lack of knowledge, because first of all, you, your government, 
did not teach me anything about this. And I believe the reason why is to control me. I believe that's why they don't teach us law. And that's why I believe that the bar is owned by international bankers through... But anyway, the whole point is, is that you have to forgive me because I am learning this on my own. You guys aren't teaching me. I, I and Mr. you, Principal, yes, sir. My role with the sheriff's office is to make sure that um, our internal policies and procedures are followed. Right. So my question to you is, um, what specific complaint do you have about the way the? Um, right. If I understand your complaint correctly, you're, you're filing a complaint that the booking tech. Um, Here's my complaint, Mark, is that you guys are operating in contract in the bankruptcy of 1933, and that is voluntary. My complaint is, is that you, through your ignorance, are forcing other people to be a bankrupted United States citizen rather than a state national and I am being injured. I actually have a very good claim against you because you guys have injured me. I haven't, I haven't hurt you in one bit. So that is my complaint. You guys are operating in bankruptcy, sir. Do you, are you aware of that? How is that? Help me to understand how that has injured you. Because I was harmed, I was imprisoned. And then not only that, but I was threatened by your officers. I mean, I'll, I'll face all your officers and how they laughed at me and how one of the officers told me that uh, I had to, one of the deputies told me that, you know, I either have to um, be compliant, which to my understanding, there's no more slavery for a state national or somebody that's not a United States citizen. A United States citizen, um, there's a court case, the term resident and United States citizen um, are not the same as a state citizen. Um, I'm trying to think of it, please forgive me, I'm just learning that, quote, that uh, court case, but um, a U.S. citizen, the only right of a U.S. citizen is to residence within the territorial boundaries of the United States. They have no constitutional rights whatsoever. And I am not volunteering to be a United States citizen. And you guys are through the birth certificate. And you guys are trying to force me into your jurisdiction and your power and your bankruptcy. I mean, you know, Mark, that's voluntary, and I don't want to be, but it's the ignorance of all the people in your, in you, and all the people that work for the sheriff's office, all the people in government are simply there to earn a paycheck, and they don't know what's going on. And then when somebody like me who comes along and understands the system tries to, uh, interact with people in your government then I get I get um, threatened you know even a stop when I'm stopped by an officer and I tell him I am not a United States citizen and he continues to harass me he is actually committing a crime uh, through his ignorance because United States citizens have no rights but I'm a state citizen which you know, I, and please forgive me, I'm just learning, but I have rights. I have constitutional rights, which allows me to all the rights of the Constitution. So, Mr. Uh, Brothwell, can I get some clarification on the spelling of your name? Um, you know, Wayne has a couple different spellings. Um, can you spell your name for me? Uh, you're providing your complaint okay um, well one of the one of the tricks mark and please forgive me is I'm concerned about my I'll just tell you my name is Dwayne Brothwell D-E-W 
A Y N E. My yes. It's B R O T H W E L L. Okay. Thank you. And I have your phone number on record. Yes. And, uh, Five one seven three. Yeah, five one seven three. Um, Mark, I want to say something that I reserve all my rights. Okay, I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't. I don't understand the system enough to know what's happening when you take my name. Okay, I. I do not claim any legal name. I am not subject to your jurisdiction. According to the Fourteenth Amendment, I am not a Fourteenth Amendment citizen. I am. Uh, a member of the Constitution, and please forgive me for lack of words and knowledge, but I am not a United States citizen that has no rights whatsoever. I am not one of those. And I don't want you to try to trick me, and I know you don't know what you're doing, but you're probably going to give this complaint to attorneys. Am I correct? Okay. Yes, yes. Well, you know, and not only that, sir, but I'm being injured because of your lack of knowledge that I'm a free man and I'm not, I do not have to obey uh, your statutes, codes, which force a United States citizen to get a license because I am not a United States citizen. First of all, I cannot afford one. And second of all, because it's against my, God told me not to worship that image or the birth certificate any longer. He told me not to use it. And so I did. I handed in a declaration, and, and you can find that out, that I am no longer a member of your uh, corporation, your bankrupted entity that does not have rights. I have rights. And you guys are, right now, I am under threat and force and coercion because if I get pulled over or something while traveling, then you guys, through your ignorance, are going to think that I am a member of your political system, and I'm not. And that is my complaint, is that you guys are using force, threats, and coercion to force me into a jurisdiction that I am not in. I'm not in your jurisdiction. You guys are operating in bankruptcy. The only way anybody has any power over me is if I injure them bodily, or if I injure their property. And I do not consent to uh, any figment of imagination's example as being the city of Greeley, which is a figment of a man's imagination, only has power through contract. I am not subject to Weld County Sheriff, which is a legal fiction. If there is any man that has a claim against me, one that they could swear under oath that I caused them harm, then they have jurisdiction. But until then, I adhere to the common law, which is the laws of the land and not the laws of the sea, not the laws of admiralty, which you guys are all operating in. So, Mr. Rothwell, uh, here's what I can do. All right. Um, based on my role to look at the I'm going to go ahead and take a look at um, why you have got into our facility and to see if by our rules and regulations it's probable cause to affect your arrest. Um, and beyond that, based on your other complaints, there's not a whole lot I can do that don't um, affect the, the policy. Okay. I'm sure. All right. Does that sound reasonable to you? It, it does. You know, Mark, I appreciate that, and that is true. I would like you to look into that. I, I appreciate that very much. All right. So I believe... Sometimes these investigations take a little while, so I'll probably contact you in a, a week to ten days to see where I'm at, okay? You know, Mark, I, I appreciate kind people. 
I appreciate you. I, I'm thankful that you have been kind and you allowed me to speak. And I appreciate you looking into this. I mean, I'm having a hard time in life, you know. Um, I don't think I should have to live under threats and, and coercion of men who don't understand the truth. If we could just find the truth, Mark, I, I would appreciate that very much. All right, well, I will do what I can. Thank you very much, Mark. What was your last name? Okay. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Bye-bye.